And welcome back to this Thursday, March 14th, 2013 edition of InfoWars Nightly News. I'm now sitting here in the broadcast chair. I want to tell Jakari Jackson, I did the news portion. They did an excellent job, as well as the rest of the crew. And this transmission would not be possible without YouTube viewers and PrisonPlanet.tv viewers that support InfoWars.com, that are PrisonPlanet.tv subscribers, and who shop at InfoWarsStore.com, and who support our sponsors on InfoWars.com and PrisonPlanet.com. The revolution against tyranny and against dehumanization will be televised, at least until they hit the internet kill switch, and then they still can't stop the signal because of you, so we salute you. Now, occasionally, maybe every month or so, we end up having a sponsor in studio. So those are some of the most popular interviews, like Steve Shank of eFoodsDirect.com. But Ted Anderson is down here in Austin, Texas, visiting with me. He's been there since I first got on radio in 1996. He's been a sponsor since about 1996. That's like 15, 16, 17 years. And he's down here. But I wanted to get him in here, not to infomercial for MidasResources.com. That really is one of the best names, A-plus rated at the Better Business Bureau. That I can't find any other gold dealers that have that. Because people are, you know, never happy one way or the other in, in, in anything financial. But I mean, Ted is—I shopped around for a trusted name to be a sponsor, and it's Ted Anderson. But but that's not why he's here. I wanted from his 30 years of experience in precious metals and in business, starting Genesis Network with over a thousand affiliates, Midas Resources, all of it to give us his take on where the world is and the conflicting news that there is no recession. We left the recession five years ago. We're in a global depression. There is no inflation. There's high inflation. All the fake economic numbers, where things are really going. Why is George Soros buying tons of gold? The Russian government and others, University of Texas, rich people, while saying don't buy it for yourself. What What is the paradoxical talking out of both sides of the mouth really all about? And, uh, you know, I just love Ted to death, and for whatever neurotic reason, every time he's on the show, I interrupt him about every five seconds, like on the radio show today. It was actually pretty funny. Uh, but uh, he's, he's here with us on the nightly news. Ted Anderson, what is the state of the real world economy? What is the state of gold and silver? What do you see coming down the road? We'll talk to you about Bitcoin, everything else. Uh, and then Tex Mars is coming up uh, in studio as well. They're queuing up out there. It's like uh, air traffic control in Chicago with the crew. Uh, Ted, great to have you here with us. Nice to be back here, Alex. It's really been, been a great time here in Austin, Texas. And you're bringing up some very good points. I can tell you right now the uh, what's going on in the marketplace and what's going on behind the scenes is is has everything flipped upside down I mean presently right now we have the Federal Reserve System pushing the interest rates to the lowest optimal level you could ever ask for we are looking at zero interest rates if you deposit money in the bank you're gonna get about a half a point the 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 manipulation to push the market down by buying long-term bonds Treasuries, even even uh, even uh, corporate bonds, and so on and so forth, dishing the money out, getting it into the economy, has been boosting the marketplace. Of course, today we're at a near record high uh, in the uh, on the Nasdaq, 1590.70, and the reason why that's happening is because the Federal Reserve System is in there manipulating the marketplace. It, to me, it asks, I have to ask myself the question: Why in the world do we have this going on? Why do we rely on a central banking system to manipulate the market? So we can have a great return on our investments, or even have employment, for that matter. It's 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 really been a question that's puzzled me. I've uh, been drawn to this many years ago. Sold a lot of copies of the Creature from Jekyll Island to help educate the people. Jumped on the Ron Paul bandwagon when I seen him pressing for an audit of the Federal Reserve System. Really, people need to take a look at the monetary system and why they manipulate the markets. I mean, this this is a private agency. Many of them, many of the owners and the and the directors of the agency don't even reside in the United States. They, do they really have our best interest at heart? when you see the interest rates. As In well. fact, I've got to interrupt with this. Let's play a short clip of a few years ago, Fed Chairman, former Fed Chairman Greenspan, saying what is the relationship with the Congress and government and the Federal Reserve? And he said, no relationship. We are, we are government and we're above the law, basically. When Congress issues the coins, the money controls the purse. Now Obama says NATO runs our military, not Congress. I mean, these guys think they're God. Here's that clip. What is the uh, proper relationship, what should be the proper relationship between a chairman of the Fed and a president of the United States? Well, first of all, the Federal Reserve is an independent agency, and that means basically that uh, there is no other agency of government 
which can overrule actions that we take. So long as that is in place and there is no evidence that the administration or the Congress or anybody else is uh, requesting that we do things other than what we think is the appropriate thing, then what the relationships are uh, don't frankly matter. And uh, I've had uh, very... So what do you say to that type of arrogance we just saw? And, he, and he's, told, he's told Congress that as well. Foreign shareholders, the private Federal Reserve, $85 billion a month. Talk about that. Our taxpayer money going to them to bail them out. Then we pay interest on the money that we gave them. Well, I mean, this is the whole thing, Alex. I mean, if you go down to Washington, D.C., and you watch the Bureau of Engraving making the money, and you take that tour, they're going to tell you when you get to the end of the tour, they're going to say, this money is not good yet. We have to load it up on a truck, and we have to ship it over to the Federal Reserve System or Federal Reserve Bank so they can put their stamp on it. Now it can be issued to us back as money. We end up paying taxes because they don't give it to us. They lend it to us. Now we owe uh, interest on the debt on the debt that they just We created. pay foreign bankers for the right to use our money. Briefly explain to folks what Lincoln and then JFK did. They actually, that's the last time in 63, you can find the Lincoln uh, $5 bill. In fact, uh, people can pull up Richard by Kennedy. Uh, Kennedy $5, uh, Lincoln $5 U.S. notes. We can show that on Google. Uh, in fact, I've got a bunch of copies of it. You ought to buy those in mass. They're hard to get, but sell them as collectibles. I, I, listeners would love to get those. They're always asking where to get them to. That's an idea. Brainstorming here on air. But uh, I mean, it says Federal Reserve. I paid with a $50 bill to get my kids in a museum because it was like $49. Uh, and I had a 50 in my wallet down in Galveston. So I paid the lady the 50. She got a liner out, checked it, wrote on it, held it up. It was obviously, you know, a real Federal Reserve note. It had the strip in it, all the color, you know, r red paint on the front. And I go, you know, all that money's counterfeit. That's just Federal Reserve note. She goes, what do you mean? And I said, well, you know, it doesn't say U.S. note. She goes, but it says Federal Reserve. I said, that's a private private consortium. I said, you know, before that, before 1913, it said U.S. note. And still it was fiat, but it had some gold backing. And she just was like acting like I was a terrorist. I mean, knowledge is almost criminal today. Yeah, there's one of them right there, Ted. Tell folks about Kennedy, his executive order. Well, I mean, Kennedy w issued the $5 bill, of, and it, it was a Treasury note. And that's speculative that as to one of the reasons why he was shot. Uh, the, what Kennedy did is he by-stepped to the Federal Reserve System and decided to start issuing notes out of the Treasury. This could be done again. However, the Federal Reserve System has a clamp, uh, has a clinch on the United States uh, federal government, and they just simply won't allow for that. There are too many people in power. Uh, you Let me show people this real quick. Since you, okay, a document, Cam, I know I'm throwing this at you guys quick. I know you're aimed at his articles. Federal Reserve note. Fed, let's zoom in on that and then we'll cut back because I don't have one of the real copies today. There's actually one somewhere in my office, but it's a big mess in there with so many documents. Uh, Federal Reserve note. That's a 20, not dollar bill, Federal Reserve note that you got to pay them interest on just to have it. Whereas the government should just be issuing it. Even if you're going to have fiat, it should be them. Now, now, so it's a total fraud, a total imposture, a total counterfeit. Now let's show people a real U.S. note, 1963, months after signing the executive order to issue it, they blow his head off in Dallas. Guys, punch that back up. Boom. What's it say up at the top? United States note. 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 Now, let's go over here. Federal Reserve note. Federal Reserve note. Federal Reserve note. I'm not trying to be obnoxious here. I'm trying to break programming. This is a fraud. Now, that's what we talk about gold and silver. 6,000 years, the ultimate store of wealth, hedge against inflation, uncertainty, what the elite get, because it is transcends even fiat U.S. note or Federal Reserve note even worse. You know, Federal Reserve, you know, U.S. notes at least like toilet paper. Federal Reserve notes like cactus spines, it, it, you know. I mean, it's very painful. We don't want to use that as toilet paper, so it's beyond toilet paper. Break that down, Ted, what, what, what these guys don't want us to know. Well, I mean, the, the whole point of it is is that they've been able to convince our Congress to allow them to create our currency. And now they are able to buy off our politicians. Our politicians are addicted to debt. They love deficit spending. The last thing they want to do is raise taxes to pay for all these plans and all these, all these new bills that they have in their, in their, uh, you know, in their repertoire. So they hit you with an inflation tax. They hit you with an inflation tax. It's much easier to hit you with an inflation tax than it is to raise taxes directly uh, from you. And so now they're connected to the 
Federal Reserve. The Federal Reserve knows that they have this political relationship between the politicians and themselves. The politicians are going to continue to look to the Federal Reserve System to stimulate the economy, just like it says in Bloomberg. And that's what we have going on. I do, why do we why do we let this happen? It just sort of you know it boggles my mind. But the reason you're, you're saying the programming, this is a Federal Reserve note. If the people of the United States knew what the Federal Reserve System was, who owns it, and what kind of strings they're pulling, and all the shenanigans that are going on, they'd be up and on. Well, you just heard Greenspan there above the law. So, so going over some more of this, gold climbs on demand for alternative to declining dollar. People say, well, wait, the dollar was up this week. Well, it's kind of like the Helter Skelter song. I'm coming down fast, but I'm miles above you. It's like a one guy jumps out of the airplane. You know, that's maybe, you know, the Argentine dollar. Uh, or the Mexican peso, it, you know, it's falling, but then the dollar's falling too, but it jumped out later, so it's miles above it. Well, yeah, I mean, when you're talking about the dollar falling at 82.61 down 31 cents, you're measuring it against the European Union, the yen, the pound, the Canadian dollar, the corona. And but the, the fraud is they've all been dropping. Right, exactly. All these countries are trying to... So it's like, oh, look, well, uh, you know, we're, we're, we're just a little bit below them, but it's all going down. When you're inflating your currency, you're you're exporting your inflation overseas is what you're doing. In but the now end. it's coming back. So, so let me ask you this. Exactly. We've already seen our big uptick, and they have skewed numbers, but everybody knows stuff's getting more expensive. Even May Mainline experts are now saying, oh, there's going to be some serious inflation later. When it hits, what does it do? Well, when it hits, what happens is that the prices of items, goods, and services start to rise. I mean, when we're in buying bread at the grocery store, and rather than paying $5 a loaf, now we're paying 7 and then two weeks later, 10 and so on and so forth, the, what happens is people start to lose faith in this $20 bill. And as soon as they get paid, they run down to the grocery store or to the hardware store, whatever they can get that's tangible, that's going to hold its value. Fast. And that's why these always in the same. They devalue slowly, and then they really start devaluing. So, so you know, they're devaluing slowly, then they start really doing it faster, and then suddenly the devaluation is hyperbolic. Or if you looked at it on a graph upwards, it kind of goes, you know, it, it slowly goes up, and then it goes straight up. So to show folks, let me show folks a hyperbolic curve here uh, on television. You know, it starts like that, slow inflation, all of a sudden, and then it goes, and then it shoots 10,000 feet up in one minute. You know, it took 100 years from 1913 to now to get to this point of devaluation, and now it's just going to go, now it's the, so, so we're starting to hit that, I mean, how bad will it get? Well, I mean, that's the, that's the issue. I mean, the thing about it is, is here we are, the people making the cotton. You like that sound effect? Yeah, that yeah, that's well. You're you're talking about what goes on. I mean, right now, if you take a look at the opposite of that curve of the inflation, you look at the national debt, and they match one another. If you invert one and set next to the next, it'll be the same. That same increase or that as the debt increases, the value of the currency drops. And they're doing stuff like serving, you know, to keep the hidden horse meat for real beef, bigger packages, air in them. I mean, that's all coming out too. Well, yeah, anything you can do to dis to uh, disguise what's really going. On. Because the minute it really starts, then it accelerates. That's why they use naked shorting to drive down gold and silver while they themselves are greedily grabbing it. Right, exactly. And you can see that right now. I mean, people like we we're talking about earlier, Soros is in there buying gold, yet at the same time, talking gold down so the rest of the people don't buy it. You know, so why why would he do that? Well, Soros knows what's going on. He understands the Federal Reserve System. He understands money, and he understands trading in the in the uh, leveraged markets better than just about anybody. Absolutely, Ted. And, well, go ahead. Well, I mean, that's why people you know that's why people like him are buying the gold and they're putting it away. They can see the train wreck coming. We have an economic crash that's happening. It's as plain as day, and they're saying, hey, don't worry about it. Get in the S&P 500. The Federal Reserve System will continue to add economic stimulus to the economy. So they're just feeding the fiat garbage, the toxic debt into there to create the illusion of prosperity, but it's just like gas is $4 a gallon now. It's not that gas is even worth more. It takes more dollars to buy it. Same thing with the stock market, or is that an oversimplification? Yeah, no, that's exactly what it is, because gas is a commodity that trades internationally. It will reflect. If the dollar is dropping in price, gas will come up in price. It's a commodity. If, if, uh, if it can't be sold here for uh, <clears throat> $4 a gallon, it'll be shipped overseas and sold Absolutely. Over there. I mean, it, it, wherever that inflation will appear wherever it's happening. It's like it, you can disguise, you can, you can, you can, you can put lipstick on a pig, but it's still a pig. If you're going to tell right, well, 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 from all the economists you track, you do this even more than I do, and I'm obsessed with it, but you've been in this 30 years. I've been in it, you know, 16, 17, where maybe five really understanding it a little bit. 
what's the time frame? I mean, what do you think in your gut, the real, because I, I mean, now the establishment more and more is acting like things are going to get, I mean, it's already horrible in Europe and other areas, or is there a way to get out of this? I mean, I mean how do you frame? get out of it? You get to commodities, is what you do. You get away from the dollar. Anything that has to do with paper, anything that has to do with the system that they're producing. Sure, that's individually, but, but I mean, what's the time frame for the overall system retrograde? Well, I, I can tell you right now, we're already in it right now, and it's going to accelerate. Right now, I expect the summer things are going to go along. I wouldn't be surprised a bit if I see 1550 again on gold. But then again, this fall, it wouldn't be surprising at all to see $1,900 gold. We are in this accelerated process. The Fed is forced to put more money into it. We're now on QE infinity, QE4. But we're in an about? upside down world where 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 they can drive gold down a little bit while hyperinflating things but 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 as always it's the beach ball you see the 12-year graph gold goes up they drive it down a little bit it always bounces up even more so it could even go even higher next time it bounces than 1900 exactly and and the reason why that is i mean right now they've added enough stimulus which is considered you know if it was a heroin junkie they just added enough heroin for the junkie to feel good for a while so what do we have in return stock markets going up the economy looks good jobless claims are going down you know unemployment numbers are going down but really what's happening is people are getting off the unemployment let's show market. people a 12-year graft on gold Show folks a 12-year graft. You know, you know, Ted. Uh, d d d just in closing here, you've been a great sponsor of mine. Uh, of all the people that have supported us over the years, the longest continual supporter, other than the general listeners, we've had some that have been supporting us for 17, almost 18 years. Which I was doing the math since being on air since late 1995. You said it's almost 18 years. I'm, I started talking to you in late '96, about a year later. So that's 16 years, 17 years. I mean, how many years is it? About 16 years. Yeah. Uh, just, you know, of all the gold companies out there, you're not going to make everybody happy, but you got the A-plus Better Business Bureau rating, and I can't think of any other big gold broker that has that. Uh, people should check that out. If people see prices that are lower on the bullion you have, it's almost always a bait and switch. I mean, I see deals, you know, where they're offering a quarter ounce, you know, new $5, you know, gold piece for $178. Everybody knows they're $415, $450, if you can get them. A lot of folks bait and switch. They get it and try to wait till it drops to even get your coin. You've got almost everything on site, what you're advertising you do in your vaults there in Minnesota. And the tiny... Yeah, people need to know when when you're making three, four, five percent on a coin. If you're lucky, you were telling me, you know, margins are down so much because of the you know tough economy and everything that you got to pay for brokers, power, all the stuff you're doing. That is helping you with Genesis Communications, helping you with everything we do. And how many affiliates does Genesis have now? Well, Genesis, like you were saying, if we put it all together, so it's numbering into the thousands. Uh, and and we and how did that happen? It happened by all the hard work, like you you know, like you've done with your program, and it just continues to get bigger and stronger. But it does take a lot of money. That studio time is not free. So it, you know, the sponsors that I have at Genesis Communications Network, I have to thank. Great shows like yours, Alex. I mean, I, I'm so blessed to be able to have your show on the Genesis Communications Network. And the listeners have been wonderful as well. It's kind of scary that as radical as my show is, it's now being accepted because it's real. We're in a radical in extreme time. Uh, and uh, it's just amazing. But, but, I mean, you built Genesis up since 1997 from nothing. I knew you before you even had a network as a sponsor. Uh, and it's just important people to go to MidasResources.com. They can also go to InfoWars.com. And on the right-hand side, we have the two silver dollars with the free shipping, two films and a book for $72. You're losing money, you told me, Ted, on two silver dollars and the free shipping. Because, I mean, normally two silver dollars right now would be almost $70 uh, from, uh, over, you know, from 100 years ago. So there's a collector thing as well. But you're talking about the silver dollars adding into that equation, the Obama deception, uh, the book on the dishonest money and the great animated film on the Federal Reserve and the Rothschilds, uh, American Dream. I mean, that's a $60 value with the shipping, $10 value, $70 value free. And you do it to introduce people as a lost leader to the gold and silver uh, and, and, and to the silver to get them as larger customers. But, I mean, that is the most... We've been doing it for a year now. The most insane deal out there. People can also call 800-686-237, 800-686-237 to get that. Uh, or go to MidasResources.com. But, I mean, how do you do deals like that, Ted? Well, I mean, the, the main thing is, is the education piece that the people get. By the time they get done reading the book, Dishonest Money, and by the time they watch your Obama deception and, and pop in that video, The American Dream, they get it. And now they know why they need to own gold and silver then we get a chance to do business with them. And you've got more than half your investments and assets in gold. 
Yep, I do, as a matter of fact, because I do believe in gold. I think it's the best place to be. It, when you see what's and going how on. And how much did you donate for the blimps in Ron Paul Air Force? Well, well, wasn't it like four years ago, like 400 grand? And what yeah, was it? yeah, it was in the several hundred thousand range. It, it, well, but both elections, yeah. yeah, I mean, yeah. But my point is, you're, you're a madman. I mean, you're, you're, you're out there really trying to get the word out. Yeah, I well, mean, you, you hate the New World Order. And, and, and viewers are like, well, I already have the Obama deception. I already have dishonest money. I already have... Get the silver dollars, it's a great deal, and then give people that info. Right, exactly. Hand, them, hand the videos out. Read the book, pass the book out. Is it limited how many they can get? Well, I am going to hold it to one per person. If you, you know, if you have a friend, family member, whatever, you can get it for them, too. It's just what I can't do is I can't have somebody order 100 of these videos and lose, you know, 10, And then 20, sell them on eBay. Know. That's yeah, what exactly. they do. We've already That's had that exactly happen. That's what happens. So, yeah, so to, we, we do limit it to one per customer. However... Mom orders one, dad orders one, the kid gets one. That happens all the time, and we get it to everybody. 800-686-2237. Anything else you want to add in closing before we go to break and come back with Tex Mars? Well, I know he's shopping at the bit out there. Hey, Tex, hey, Wanda. Are they, yeah. All right, yeah, they're coming, yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, no, just wanted to say that uh, it's important that you don't lose faith in the gold and silver just because we're watching the prices go down, and the stock market is hot at this time. That's the best time to be getting into gold and silver. If you wait until we have the next economic crises, like when George Bush was asking for TARP and gold is running from $600 to $1,900 an ounce, you can get caught into the excitement of it. You might no, I, I believe, well, you know I didn't buy for years. Now that it's gone down a little bit, that's when I've been in. I got some silver and some gold. I mean, that's just the way to go. And, um, well, Ted Anderson, I really want to thank you for being here. 800-686-237. You were going to say, and if you wait, it'll be the wrong time. I agree. I mean, that's what I'm saying. If you wait until the crisis happens, you're going to be paying a lot more. 800-686-237. Midasresources.com. And, again, the very best daily specials are linked under that special at Infowars.com. Maybe we show people Infowars.com to find it easy. You go to Infowars.com on the right-hand side. It's like the third banner down. It says, you know, two silver dollars, free gifts. That's the link because under uh, that link, then they'll have. Yeah, go ahead and click on that. They'll have they'll have the daily specials underneath uh, that offer right there. And this isn't a bait and switch. You go there, it's there. And anybody that knows anything, people can't even believe that deal. I see them on YouTube. They're like, oh, there's no way that's that. They actually had two silver dollars and two films, and I mean, I mean, it's incredible. And and, and the free shipping. Uh, so it's all up there. Uh, Minusresources.com, Infowars.com. Ted. You got to come to Austin more often, bro. Yeah, what a. What hey, a I know it's colder down here than Minnesota. Yeah, no, yeah. It's, uh, <laughs> it snows up to here still. You said, yeah, you're having a cold spring. Yeah, we are. Groundhog, did he see his shadow? Uh, not sure he did. He, he may be the new Al Qaeda. Yeah. I heard the groundhogs are racist. <laughs> he is. Uh, he doesn't love world government. It doesn't exist. Yeah, well, you know. What a little jug from the radio show today, folks. You got. Uh, that was a little wild when I went into that whole satire piece with you. Yeah. Yeah, Ted Anderson. All right, we're going to go to break. Again, great job of the crew and all you, the subscribers out there. The truth will be televised if you continue to support it. We'll be back with Tex Mars in that seat. I'm Alex Jones with PrismPlanet.tv and InfoWars Nightly News. I'm Darren McBreen, and these are some of the new items that are available now at InfoWarsShop.com. Alert the public to Obama's blatant abuse of power with the new Obama t-shirt. Obama's joker face on the front and come and take it on the back. It's time to publicly call him out for what he is, a tyrant. Defend the Second Amendment with our top seller come and take it t-shirts. And look at that, women's cut tank tops and t-shirts now available. Nice hat. Plus, the don't tread on on me flag and now you can become a micro distributor of the InfoWars magazine plus get your own copy delivered right to your door each and every month and if you're tired like I am of you and your family being exposed to polluted drinking water get the Pro One high performance water filter it gets rid of all pathogenic bacteria cyst fluoride heavy metals and numerous other contaminants so join the revolution at InfoWarsShop.com.